Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark. In this video, I wanted to talk about the law of attraction manifesting and how the mind can oftentimes get in the way. So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I release new videos. So the law of attraction is a very popular topic. Um, a lot of people I know study it, do a lot of research on it, try to figure it out um, and get it working for them. And there's a lot of techniques to do this, uh, such as vision boards, things like that. Well, I wanted to bring forward a perspective that actually came up in my recent Ascension workshop. Uh, we talked about the law of attraction and some good things came forward. Uh, so I wanted to share a little bit of it with you guys. So a lot of times we're, we're thinking with the law of attraction, um, we have to get thinking on what we want to manifest. We want to constantly be reminded of what we would like to manifest. So we'll create vision boards and things like that. Maybe we'll put material things on there, like, you know, like maybe a car, boat, house, whatever it may be, maybe a job, a career, uh, maybe even a relationship. So we do this and we look at these boards before we go to bed, maybe throughout the day, occasionally. And when we, um, wake up in the morning to get focused on what we are desiring to manifest. Now, there's a, a, a danger per se with using a vision board if it's not used properly. A lot of times what happens is our mind will, you know, will look at a vision board and what are we reminded of? Well, our soul, our desire is being reminded of things that we want to manifest in this life, but our mind may be looking at that vision board in a very different light. It may be seeing things that we are lacking, that we that we just have not manifested, that are just not present in our life. Now, we go about um, thinking this way, and we want to start doing things to create this. Now, we start doing, the mind wants to take off with this and start doing from a frequency of lack because it sees something that it doesn't have, okay? And what happens is we start taking, um, you know, doing things or making decisions that lead down a road of programming, maybe, you know, working harder, working longer, maybe expanding education, whatever it may be, to try to bring forward something that the mind perceives is a lack. Now, the mind sees it as a problem. We don't have this, you're telling me we want it, I've got to work within my little narrow box of ways I know on how, on how to achieve it, how to get it. Okay. So most of the time we're operating from a perspective of lack. When we operate from a perspective of gratitude, things can change very quickly regarding the law of attraction. We start to actually move energy forward and we start to attract things. Now the mind will get very anxious when it's doing from a, from a frequency of lack and it's not seeing results. A lot of anxiety comes forward. It feels like it's doing something wrong. Feel, maybe we feel like um, what we're doing is not working or maybe we feel like so many other people are doing it. There's just not enough for us or it's too late, whatever it may be. These are opposite, free, these are dense frequencies are opposite of a frequency of abundance and a frequency of gratitude. Maybe we have resentment because we can't seem to get what we want. Well, we need to turn that around and have gratitude for the things we have um, and shift the frequencies that are dominant within us regarding the law of attraction. Now, we are here to be creators. We have an abundant um, divine source of energy flowing through us. If we allow that energy to flow, the mind will kink the hose and stop that energy flow. Um, and that's where we start to feel lack. So it's a simple matter of restoring our energy flow and being active in the frequencies of abundance um, in, the, in, in compassion and those types of frequencies um, that are opposite of lack, that things start to happen. Well, how do we do that? Well, the thing that we need to start being or bringing awareness to and doing more often is being grateful for the little things, okay? This is not a zero sum game. All right. This is a um, gratitude. We want to find gratitude. Okay. There's not one way we, we need to do this to get it to work. There are many different ways. 
if we can focus on gratitude and, and even if it's the smallest thing throughout your day, you focus on gratitude and you cultivate that emotion. You'd be grateful for what you have. You'd be grateful. Maybe an opportunity comes up for an opportunity. Maybe you get triggered by somebody. You'd be grateful for the opportunity to heal. Okay. If we could shift our mindset into that, we are going to start to shift our frequency and we're going to start to get more opportunity to be grateful for. Now, this is key because it gets us out of the lack frequency. We're not constantly focusing on having to do to get. We're focusing on what we already have and we're cultivating that feeling. We're cultivating that frequency and we're expanding it within our very being. Now, this does a very important thing. Um, the mind wants to say that we don't have something. Now, we have something. We have everything. It's abundant. This universe is a universe of abundance. By not perceiving it in your reality right now is a simple fact that you have not yet aligned with it. Okay? It exists. If you have awareness of a certain lifestyle, of certain things in your life, and they're not present right now, you just simply have not aligned with that reality. So we want to start aligning with that reality. And the way we do that is by being grateful. We cultivate these emotions. And again, we find situations throughout our day to be grateful for, okay? Um, if we see somebody that has what we want, we don't have feel resentment. We bring it back to feeling grateful because we know in our heart that we have access to the exact same thing that other individuals have, okay? We bring it back in. We focus and we cultivate gratitude throughout our day. Um, what we want to do is shift our perspective into a timeline where everything exists. Now, this universe is an absolutely incredible because it gives us an opportunity to come here as a soul and experience the process of manifestation. Where on higher dimensions, um, we'll have a thought that will manifest instantly. Here, we have the blessing of being able to essentially see the process unfold. That's what the timeline does for us. It allows the process to unfold if we allow it to happen. So every time we find something to be grateful for, we anchor into our heart knowing that abundance is starting to flow and we be grateful for the opportunity to actually see something manifest, okay? In this reality, it wouldn't be much fun to um, snap your fingers and have something appear. That's gonna get old very, very quick. It's not going to be fulfilling to you, okay? And um, being fulfilling, that feeling of fulfillment comes when we anchor in and embody these feelings of compassion and gratitude, and we allow them to become part of us. We, be, we become them. Then we start to feel fulfilled. And when that happens, uh, the law of attraction will show that the universe will allow um, like frequencies to flow through us. So this energy is going to come through us and this energy is going to start to manifest and we're going to get to see the process happen. That is what's happening. Think of it as collapsing timelines. We are going to collapse all these timelines of frequencies that don't resonate with our highest purpose. And we are going to see our divineness flow out as a wholeness, as fulfilled. We're not going to be scattered among different... Uh, dense energies, our awareness. It's going to be whole, empowered, and focused on a timeline that is in alignment with our highest good. And we do that by starting to become aware of the signs that are out there. Again, if we get into a situation that doesn't feel good, we use the energy healing techniques that we've learned on this channel, and we realign ourselves, and we can bring that right into gratitude as well, knowing that these situations have come forward so that we have an opportunity to experience gratitude. And that's how we do it. That is how the law of attraction works. So we want to let go of the expectation. The mind wants to see a roadmap and, and a GPS to get to the destination. We let go of that. We get present and we start seeing and feeling it. That's the important keyword here, feeling it right now in the present moment. We do that throughout our day. And um, we anchor these high frequency feelings and we watch these realities start to manifest. I'm gonna put a playlist up 
um, that's going to have more videos like this, go ahead and feel free to watch those for more information on manifestation and the law of attraction. So I hope this video resonated with you guys. Uh, if it did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you know somebody that this video can help, please, please feel free to share it. Until next time, guys, love and light.